Hello everyone, welcome back to Becca's Book Nook. Today I'm going to be doing the You're Not Good Enough book tag. The original creator of this tag has actually taken down her video. I'm assuming it was from several years ago, so I unfortunately can't tag her, but thank you to whoever created it for making this tag. Basically, the premise of this tag is that I have a cup full of 30 names from books that I have read uh, previously, and I'm going to pick out two and answer who I would rather do whatever the question says with. It's kind of difficult to explain, I guess, so I'm just gonna jump right into it and you will see what I mean as the video goes on. So the first prompt is, you only have one more space left on your spelling bee team. Who out of these two people would you pick to be your second? So I'm going to pick two names. So I have Cardin from the Cruel Prince series or Voldemort from the Harry Potter series. Um, I feel like Cardin's just like a young little arrogant little prince and Voldemort was like one of the smartest in his year at Hogwarts so I guess unfortunately I'm gonna have to go with Voldemort. I feel like he'd be the better choice in the long run. <laughs> the next prompt is two of these people are both trying to kill you. Who would you want to kill first in order to save yourself from the other one? So let's pick here. So first we have Emma Carstairs from The Dark Artifices, and then we have Mare Barrow from The Red Queen. So Mare literally has superpowers. Both of these women are terrifying because Emma's actually like one of the most badass fighters I've ever read about, but Mare has literal superpowers, so I think I'm gonna have to go with I will kill Mare to save myself from Emma, but I don't think I would survive very long after that. The next prompt is, you're on The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Which one of these two characters would you give your last rose to? Let's see. So I have Manon Blackbeak from the Throne of Glass series and The Darkling. <laughs> um, this is a hard one, The Darkling is, you know, dark and mysterious, and I love him, but a man in is hot. I love her. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Darkling just because he's so dark and mysterious and handsome, and you know, I guess I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> the next prompt is, you have been chosen for the Hunger Games. Which of these two people would volunteer to save you? Let's see who we've got. So we've got Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles and Dorian Havilliard from the Throne of Glass series. Well, as much as I love little baby Dorian, I feel that he is often a little self-consuming, like he's more interested in his self, his own safety. So I guess I'm gonna have to say Cinder would volunteer to save me because she's a sweetheart. This next question is a little weird, um, but it's if you were stranded on a desert island, which one of these two people would you sacrifice to uh, for cannibalism to eat them for food? So I'm going to look at this question more as which one of these two people would I rather be stuck with? So let's see who we have. Alina from Shadow and Bone. I think I already know how this is going to go. And Kaz Brecker. I'm 125,000% going to be sacrificing Alina and staying to have a fun little stranded desert island time with Kaz. The next prompt is, you have been chosen to be the next Marvel superhero. Who would you pick to be your sidekick? Let's see what the choices are. So we've got Hermione from Harry Potter, of course. Love of my life. And then we have Feyre. <sighs> okay. Who would I pick to be... Uh, she's from the Akatar series, in case you didn't know. Who would I pick to be my sidekick? Alright, well, as much as I love my girl Hermione, I think I'm going to have to go with Feyre because, once again, she has literal powers. She is basically high Fey, so I'm going to go with Feyre. She could definitely help me out. Might make me look bad, though. 
The next prompt is, you are the manager at an avocado admiring company. Which of these two people would you fire for poor communication skills? Let's see who we have. We have Jude from the Folk of the Air series. And we have Nikolai from <laughs> the Grishaverse. Um, wow, oh, this is hard. Lack of communication. I feel like probably Nikolai would like go off and do his own thing, but Jude's pretty stubborn too. I'm gonna fire Jude just because I love Nikolai and I, yeah, I feel like she would, both of them are sort of stubborn and would go off on their own, but I'm gonna say Jude. The next question is, you have just read a book in which your fave character dies. Which of these two people would be there to comfort you in your time of need? Let's see who we've got. Okay, <laughs> Rowan Whitethorn from the Throne of Glass series. Not a very comforting guy. And Will Herondale. Will Herondale would comfort me, of course. He's a fellow book lover. He would, you know, know my pain and help me through it. I gotta choose Daddy Will. Love him more than life itself. Pretty easy one. The next question is, you're in high school. Which out of these two characters is more likely to be popular? Let's see what we've got here. Okay. So we've got Inej from the Six of Crows duology. Queen Inej. And Reese from Akatar. So Inej has always sort of been like quiet and to herself. So I really think she would just sort of be one of the quiet girls. And Reese, of course, would be like the most hottest, most popular guy in school. There's really no question about that. Everyone would love him. Everyone would want to be him or be with him. Pretty obvious answer. The next prompt is, it is your birthday. Who would have the nerve to forget about it? Let's see who I think would have the nerve. Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles series, Mr. Caswell Thorne, and Cassian from Akatar. Both of these are some arrogant boys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say Thorne would forget before Cassian would. I feel like Cassian's a sweetheart when he likes you. I feel like <laughs> both of them are, but I feel like based on that sweet little gift he gave Nesta that she never opened, I feel like he would be a sweetheart and never dare forget someone's birthday that he was close with. The next prompt is, you've just found the next upcoming booktube star. Which of these two people would it be? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So we've got Maven Kalor from the Red Queen series. <laughs> God. And Elian from To Kill a Kingdom. I just read this book. It's a cute little standalone. Um, this is interesting. I feel like Elian would make, like, videos about going after sirens and catching them, and Maven would maybe have, like, a little broadcasted show. Yeah, I'm gonna say Maven, actually, just because he literally did broadcast to the world when he was king about, like, the bad things that were happening with the rebellion and everything. So I'm gonna say Maven. I feel like People would watch it because they had to, not because they wanted to, though. So that would be interesting. The next prompt is, it is sleepover time. Which of these two guests would you invite? You can only have one. Let's see. I don't even know who's left in here, to be honest. Sirius Black from Harry Potter, of course. Actual love of my life. And Edward Cullen. Definitely going to have to go with Sirius, just because I don't know whether Edward get, would get hungry or not, and I don't trust that boy. And I love Sirius more than anything. Love to get to know him more, so definitely Sirius. The next question is, <gasps> you're pregnant. Who is your partner? Let's see. All of the good ones are taken at this point. Oh, Aelin from Throne of Glass, Queen. It's Nesta, so I'm gonna just Tumble that up into a ball and throw it over here. Definitely Aelin. I feel like she would be protective and fierce and a great ass mom. Love her. Definitely going with her. All of my roommates have decided to make dinner right now. The next prompt is, you just sent a super important text. Who would read it but not reply? See, you only got four names left in here. Mal from Shadow and Bone. And Harry from Harry Potter. 
Um, I'm gonna say Mal. I feel like he like wouldn't really give a shit what I said <laughs> in my text, whereas I feel like Harry would be a little bit more interested, so definitely Harry for that one. The final question is, you just woke up and you went down for breakfast, but your mother has been replaced. Who is standing in your kitchen? Let's take these last two names out and see who we have. So we've got Jace Herondale from The Mortal Instruments and Cress from The Lunar Chronicles. Gonna have to say Jace. This would be some sort of elaborate prank that he would <laughs> do. Cress would probably have no clue what was going on if that happened. So it definitely Jace. I feel like he would think that was funny and definitely want to get in on something like that. Well, this was so much fun, a really interesting tag. I'd never really heard about it until super recently and I decided to do it for you guys because I thought it might be interesting. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did have fun watching this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content related things. I try to post every Wednesday and I would really love to have some more members of my booktube family. I will link some of my socials down below if you'd like to go follow me there. I do use my bookstagram quite a lot and it would be lovely to have a few of you guys over there as some new friends. But for now, I will see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye!